It's a brand new day and we are ready for our first activity, snow tubing. It looks like we have it all for ourselves. For a two hour session, it is $60 per person. It's a little expensive for two hours. Maybe, we'll see, but it is snowing right now. Snow flurries, but snowing nonetheless. This is so fancy that there's a escalator to take you to the top or to the beginning, the start of the, the course. So fancy. Done with tubing! That was so much fun. Woolies have the best staff. You can either be just pushed straight or spun lightly or spun hard, but they definitely cater to the person who's on the tube. So I love it. Love it. Five stars. We totally maximized our two hours and $65 on this activity. The time went by so fast. That escalator helps so much. Like you just keep going and going and going and it's like two hours later. So, so much fun. What'd you guys think of the tubing? I know. Alma almost wasn't gonna do this with us actually because she thought that they were gonna spin us. But again, the staff is so great. You pretty much can just go straight. And this is Darwin's first time tubing. And he's like like a kid. The, the dude up there time. made it fun more. Yeah, he I, the, was my buddy. I swear the staff was great. I Amazing. Five stars. Mm -hmm. five stars. Yes. I highly recommend it. Yep. So is it? There's a local beer here. Oh, Mount Mount Brewery. So we'll see how that tastes like. We'll see. So we're off to lunch. All right, so it is lunch time and I am drinking this really interesting drink. It is hot cocoa with red wine. 
Holy moly, I'm just so intrigued. Just for kicks, I ordered it. I mean, it smells like hot cocoa. Oh my gosh, that that is so weird. It tastes really good. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a balanced red wine. Like you could taste the red the red wine and the hot cocoa. Oh my god, favorite drink. <laughs> mm. Okay, so we ordered some fondue and some sausage platter. A lot more than we thought we were gonna get, but we're sharing, so I don't know what to do first. What do you wanna do first? That one? Okay, so this one is sausage. Sausage. It smells really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's that one? It's so good. Mm. It's bratwurst. Bratwurst. But it's a little sweet. A little spicy. But they cut it up already. But they cut it up already. But it didn't taste the spicy. I like it. Yeah. It is so good. Great balsamic reduction. That's what we're tasting. Wow, I'm very impressed. It's European, but not European. I love it. All right, let's try their fondue. For the house fondue, it's smoked Gouda, brie, cheddar, bacon, bacon marmalade, seasonal vegetables, fresh fruit, and pretzel bread. All right, so let's try the pretzel bread. <laughs> it's a lot of cheese in there. They're so good. So, so good. Let me try the fruit. The cheese is a little thick, but it's all good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig in to the rest of this delicious food. Just finished with lunch and this is what we came out into. Snow! I don't know if you guys could see the mammoth statue <laughs> behind me, but it's all covered in snow now. I can't even see it myself. <laughs> All right, now we're going to head to our next activity. All right, so we are now having dinner. We actually stopped by the hotel for about an hour to just decompress and freshen up after our snowshoeing activity. This bowl is considered a regular 
and it is bigger than my face. <laughs> um, but it's something hot on this very wintry day. My gosh, snowshoeing was so much fun. It was exactly what I thought it would be. Not just the actual snowshoeing, but the fact that they would guide you to pristine areas, almost untouched areas, and that's exactly what we got. And our guide was super uber wonderful, um, Deja. If you guys are ever here at Mammoth and doing um, uh, snowshoeing, the snowshoeing tour, she knows her stuff. And uh, everybody else was surprised, Darwin and Alma were surprised how fun the activity was. In all, actu in all actuality, Alma wasn't even going to do it anymore <laughs> because of the conditions. But where they took us was an area where it wasn't so windy. And I was thinking in my head that I wasn't going to go through with it anymore if our guide felt that it was unsafe. And of course, they, they would actually cancel that, right? But they didn't. Although they gave us the option of canceling and giving us a full refund right then and there. But I was like, we made it here through all those ordeal and challenges yesterday. I was like, we are gonna go for go, you know? And I'm glad we did. Um, we were the only folks in the group, so we really had the place to ourselves. So that was nice. Um, oh, and then for tomorrow, I think they were supposed to have snowshoeing tours, but they're going to cancel that because the snow storm is coming in again fast. Um, but yes, uh, I loved it, loved it, loved it. So now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna stop talking and have a taste of my my noodles. Mm. Yeah, their broth is really good, really, really good actually. Not salty, very flavorful. Mm. I got the barbecue pork with egg noodles. Mm. Very good. But it's so big. I should have just shared. When they said regular, I thought it would be half the size. Mm. But for tomorrow, we're planning to actually leave Mammoth at dawn. Try to get ahead of any storm or any closures. That's what we said the last time. So, wish us luck and stay tuned for the next vlog, how we get home. As a part of the tour of our snowshoeing activity, she showed us the lake next to the, or the lake in our route. My gosh, it was frozen over. It had, it was covered with a ton of snow. You would not even think it was a lake. Ooh. It would be scary if you wandered off over there. And the snow is so tall that it covers most of the road signs. And it was so tall that the power lines were sort of in our way just because just because it was low, the power lines were low in the first place, but together with the mounds and mounds of snow, we actually had to dodge those in our route. So that was kind of funny. Not funny, but funny. 
I think this is a good place and time to end this vlog. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell button below to get notified of new videos. Many travel plans ahead and hopefully we get to realize all of them. So from my mindset to yours, definitely more to come. Thanks for watching. Mm.